Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see today, I have something a bit different from my usual. I've actually just received a new bag from Metaporte recently and I thought I could do a unboxing together. I love watching these videos so I thought I could make one too and um, I can make a follow-up video on the review of this bag. So let's start and unbox this bag quickly. Now we've got a ribbon here. Just under the ribbon and open that up. We've got a receipt here which I will remove. Put some of the paper out and you must be wondering what this is and this is almost like if you see this dust bag is a if you know if you know kind of thing. So I'll remove the box and put the bag in picture. I kind of like this dust bag to be honest. It's just got a really nice brown tone to it and you know it's a good seems like a good dust bag and that is the giveaway. Don't know if you know this brand. This is the brand called Totem. I only found out about this brand in TikTok and Instagram. And you know how there's that whole talk about quiet luxury and all that stuff. I love the concept, um, but as you can probably tell from my videos, I'm not quite the quiet luxury person. So I think I see beauty in every different trend and I'm not quite a um, stick to one trend person. I like to try every trend that I think that suits me or that really resonates to what I think it's a beautiful style. So I like to try everything. Everything that looks nice to me, I want to try. I don't have a trend to stick in. I don't think one trend is better than the other. I think wear what you like, pick what you want. You can have three different trends. You can be classy and colorful and fun, whichever you like. I don't think one person should stick to one trend. And if you like to stick to one trend, that's up to you. So what I've got here is um, this Totem Tea Walk bag and it's been quite popular in the quiet luxury realm because of how um, it's not the most say out there brand that you see and you know it's the really if you know you know thing because not everybody knows Totem and if you're like me I would have known this brand if I haven't got on TikTok or Instagram and I'm glad I did find this brand because all their stuff looks really beautiful and they're not cheap at all. They're definitely luxury, um, but they're just not as popular as say Chanel or Louis Vuitton. So this is the tea lock bag. There's two versions to this. There is the clutch bag, which is a much smaller version. And then this is the tea lock bag, which is quite big. It's almost, you can see from my uh, chair here, that it's filling up almost the width of my chair whereas you've seen my previous other videos with my classic flap it's um, not as big now I'll put it here for a second and let you enjoy the view for a second while I go grab my uh, classic bag Now it's in its form of how I store them, so it's still got the little felt things under there. And just for a quick size comparison before I talk about the totem bag, if you can see that. So this is the medium classic flap as you know. And it's, you know, this is much bigger than that. But they both look very classic. So now getting on to the bag, so that I don't waste any more of your time, let's unwrap this. So we've got a sticker thing here. I really like their logo to be honest. It's just really cool. And it's got a little sticky bit here that I'll leave for the moment. Now. I've seen this back so much online that, you know, I'm not responding like, wow, and like, look at this in real life. Um, 
I am in awe, but I just don't have the standard response because I've seen it so much. It's exactly what I expect it to be. I'll take that out so that we can see it better. Oh, I'm not taking that out very well, am I? All right, so I'll bring it up close. So this bag, the leather is smooth but grainy, as you can see. I don't know if it's scratch resistant, but I think it looks pretty durable. Um, and I quite like the softness of the bag. As you can see up here, and it's got feet, which is great for a big bag. And it's got a handle here, and you've got a handle there that you can't adjust. It's just got all the tags still on. And the lock essentially is, let's see how this works. You twist it and there you go, you sort of, I can't, I think I have to do it two hand. So I think you twist it, you put it in place, if you can see there, and then you twist it back. I think it's got that plastic there, it's a bit hard. Um, I'm a sucker for taking off plastic, so um, I get a bit antsy about taking it too early. Now, that's how it looks like, and it says Totem Mink in Italy. And this bag comes with a shoulder strap. So that's how the inside looks. Let's take the filling out. So inside lining leather is great and we've got two pockets here and here and we've got a shoulder strap which is removable and adjustable so I and there's the totem thing again so it's um, shoulder strap and a handle as well so I pick over this, I picked this over the clutch because so with the clutch is pretty much without this, without the handle and it's just the shoulder strap and it's a bit smaller in size with the clutch so I think, I haven't seen it in person but it looks like it was about the size of this which is really beautiful as well and it also has the same um, lock as well and that's why it's called a T-lock clutch. Now I picked this one because firstly I really like I love crossbody bags, as you probably know already, because it's, you know, I love to keep my hands free. Ooh, almost scratched it there. Well, looks like no damage, which is a test for us. <laughs> um, so I chose this one because I just like the look when you hold it like that. So when, it's like a puzzle bag. When you hold it like that, up in the handle, it just slouches in the middle and I don't really like that look and obviously you know having this shoulder strap as well it's going to be really beautiful um, and gives you a different look whereas the clutch itself just it looks really nice too and I don't think it's not nice Um, I just think practicality wise if I was to pick a bag that I want to use um, would I pick that clutch back if I was you know really hoping to use a bag and I don't think the clutch bag will be something that I will use um, because I've got all my other bags I've got my classic flap as well and that just looks more similar and simple and it won't be my go-to bag and that's why I picked this one itself and um, I really like how big this one is as well so it can put a lot of stuff um, which means this will work more than just a, a shoulder bag to go out. This can definitely put like water bottles and lots of other stuff. And I just really like the look of this one. Um, so yeah, and I've got gold hardware like we mentioned. There's nothing at the back itself. Um, but I think first look, really beautiful, really classy really unassuming I think and let's try to put it back yep that's the slouchy look that I was telling you about that slouch very very classy just beautiful 
I'm glad I got it. I actually got it on sale in net port as well. So I think originally it was sold at a thousand eight hundred, and I got it for a thousand five hundred thirty. And I'll just put my favorite next to it, so that you can compare. And um, once I use it a bit more, I'll give you guys an update whether I think it's worth it or not, how durable it is. But you see what I mean, if I got a clutch instead, it would just be similar to a classic flap and I obviously will pick this over a clutch, whereas this one just probably serves a different function for me. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this review of this new bag to tame T-Lock. And if you like this look, I suggest to get it um, because, oh, sorry, you can you see my really ugly sleeves over there. Um, I would suggest to get it uh, because it's much more affordable than a lot of the luxury brands out there. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.